So basically, the news is they dropped it 25 basis points. One basis point is 0.01%. That means they dropped 25 basis points a quarter of a percent. So mm-hmm. 100 basis points is 1%. Correct. Right? Um, so now the federal funds rate is between 4 and 4.25%. Correct. And basically what the federal funds rate is, it's the rate that other banks borrow overnight from each other. Correct. And that is, can we just say it one more time? It is Mm -hmm. the rate in which banks borrow from each other overnight. It is not your mortgage rate, your credit card rate, your car loan rate, any of those things. None of those things. Um, And we'll get into what what, the impact of this is because it does impact those areas, just not all directly. So basically in uh, 2022, the post-COVID the Fed funds rate was between 0.25% and 0.5%, hence insanely low mortgages, right? Then inflation hit, uh, it hit as high as 9.1%. So Fed's like, well, we got to slam the brakes. Slam. So we slammed in 2020 and then in, in to lower the rates. And yeah. then we slammed again in like 2022 to raise the rates. So basically by the end of 2022, the rates went from 0.5% to 425 to 45 Right. And then they continue raising through 2023 up to about five and a half percent the peak, right? Last year, they cut down 50 basis points. Um, and then that was last September. And then finally, another year later, they dropped it down last week to another 25 bips. So right now it's between four and 4.25%. So still much, much higher than even three years ago. But right. historically, not crazy high. Um, so it's enough to definitely slow the economy down. I think one of the things that they're kind of talking about is there's there's a couple of worries they have. There's still some inflation worries. That's why they've been a little reluctant to cut the rates earlier, as so many people are calling for, including one very important orange man. Um, and then, you know, now they're saying, okay, um, unemployment's starting to creep up a little bit. So that's a worry of ours. But we think inflation's kind of not as crazy as we think it is. So we're going to drop rates a little bit because they're trying to you know, balance that act between inflation and unemployment. Because you have to remember that like inflation and unemployment are almost a little counterintuitive to each other. And so that's some of what they're dealing with is that when you sort of ease one, sometimes it impacts the other and they're trying to balance these two things out. I think that's a good primer on the Fed funds rate. 